Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to be making a ring from a uh, Trivium coin. It's a one ounce silver round. And what is Trivium, you might wonder? Trivium was a medieval philosophy based on the study of grammar, rhetoric, and logic. So now that you know that, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is anneal this guy. So let's get that done. Give it a nice dunk in some room temperature water. So this is fine silver, so we won't really have to pickle it. But uh, I'll go ahead, there's a little bit of a stain on it there, fire scale, so I'll go ahead and pickle it just for good measure. So I think we'll use a 5 8 punch on this one because I want to keep, a, you know, I want the band to be fairly wide but not too wide. So I think uh, 5 8 would be about right. Let's put a little bit of uh, shop tail in here just to protect the the detail a little bit. Now this punch, I uh, have to put it in first, like so, and then screw it down. Because the end is too large to go through the, the hole in the top of the, the punch. So. Got to go this way. All right, let's punch this guy. Let's adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. Okay, there we go. Perfectly punched hole. We gotta get the punch out of there. So hit it with the leather hammer. Like so. And then there's our center punch. Sorry girls, didn't mean to punch you out of the coin. Okay, so now um, we need to clean this hole up because as that punch goes through, it leaves a ragged edge behind and there's little fractures in there that will turn into tears when you start stretching it and will ruin it. So. We'll clean it up real good with this deburring tool. And just shave some silver off until we get down below those fractures. And we'll turn it over and do the other side.
a little bit more. All right, that should do it. Okay, so now we'll fold the coin and we want the coin or the side with the girls to be on the outside of our ring. So it'll go down in this dapping block. So we want to make sure that the coin is nice and level in here to so keep the sides all even as we fold into the ring shape. Well, that looks pretty good. There we go. So there's our initial fold. Pretty much of a cone shape right now. And as we keep moving forward, that'll turn into a ring looking uh, structure. So now we'll take a 17 degree reduction die. Find the right one here. And this one ought to work. Yep. And we'll continue folding. We're going to start with this uh, stainless steel cone. And we'll go down about halfway and then we'll switch over to composite. And again, let's make sure that we've got the coin in here level as possible. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we'll get down about halfway. So we don't want that cone to come in contact with all the detail because it'll smash it a little bit. All right, so now we'll change over to this composite. We'll put a little bit of coconut oil on it. Like so. That'll protect the cone and help it slide down through the center easily. All right, that looks pretty good. So now we'll continue with the fold, finish it up. Okay, so you can see that now the edge of the coin is all the way up, touching the, the cone on the top there. So, complete fold. Okay, so I sanded this uh, cut edge down real good, just to, again, uh, reduce the chance for any splits or tears in the coin as it gets stretched so I think it looks pretty good so uh, next step is to go on the ring stretcher here and we need to stretch this cut edge and lift it up towards kind of a close to a 90 degree angle here across the, the uh, reed and then after we get this done then we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to put in a Swedish wrap die and reduce it down to our target size which is going to be 11 in this case We still got a bit of a coin shape, a cone shape here with the 
dip in the middle. So I don't want to stretch it out too much more. So I think I'll just go into the Swedish wrap die now, start reducing the, the reed edge down to, to meet the cut edge. Okay, so I got the coin all wrapped up in blue monster and we're going to put in the Swedish wrap die and start pushing it down slowly and we're going to be checking it quite frequently just to make sure that it doesn't, uh, the coin doesn't go peek through the tape and damage the detail. So we'll just go down a little bit at a time, check it. Yeah, see, good thing I did that because I would have had a problem. So we ended up having to rewrap it. Eh, worst things have happened. All right, so let's continue. Go down a little bit more here, and we'll flip it over. For some reason, it, uh, the edge just keeps cutting the tape. Give it a few wraps. Check it. Turn it over. Push it down from the reed side this time. Okay, now we're starting to get into control here a little bit better. down from the reed side this time. Our tape should start to harden now. Yeah. We're still, uh, the reed side still has a ways to go. Let's check the size. Uh, we're still that's 15 and a half, so yeah, we got a long ways to go. Just make sure we don't uh, get down into that detail and start mashing it. Yeah, see now the, the tape is starting to, to move up to cover that edge of the, the reed. And we're still looking good as far as the detail goes. I 
I don't see anything coming through the tape, which is good. I can put a couple more wraps around the reed. That second line is a reference now. Turn it over. Now we're getting what we want. Total coverage. Check the size. Okay, we're coming down. We're down around uh, 13 and a half, 11. Whoops, handle came off. Feels like we might need to anneal. All right, so we're down to size 13 now. Actually, we'll take it down probably around 10 and a half because when I clean the inside edge of that reed up, It'll give me a couple sizes to work with. Okay, a little bit more. Now you can see how that tape is turning dark blue. It's getting pretty hard now, and that's good. That's a good thing. Turn it over. Definitely starting to work hard, and though. Getting down pretty close to the bottom of the die. See, you can see right here, looks like detail might just about be ready to poke through and right here. So I think it's a good time to uh, take this tape off, anneal the coin, and rewrap it. So that's what we'll do. Alright, so let's wrap this up again. We're getting close to here to be in a ring shape that we want. And let's see, let's check the size real quick. Okay, so it looks like we're about 11, so we're getting close. We don't have too much further to go. We'll take it down a little bit, check it. We might go all the way through the uh, the die here and come out the other side, possibly. Okay, so this line will become our, our reference now for both sides.
I've got a feeling by the time we get down here, we're going to be real close. So you're almost to pop through. Everything's looking good. Pull this tape out so I can get a measurement on it. Alright, let's see. It looks to me like we're right about 10. Yep. Okay. So that's where we want to be. And then we uh, cut out that ridge in there. I think that's going to put us right at 11. We're pretty darn close to it. All right, let's take a look. Oh, yeah. That's looking really good. The walls are almost perfectly straight. Perfectly straight. And we are at size just a little bit under 10, so let's go ahead and uh, cut this out. And we may have to stretch it just a shade, but it won't be too much. Alright, so we'll just take the deburring tool and just start cutting. The reed's kind of making it tough to cut. All right, so let's um, continue. I'm going to take my uh, diamond burr and just move this surface up a little bit here. Get rid of those uh, uh, marks left behind by the deburring tool. And we'll sand it polish it and we should be done okay so I've got all the sanding done things are looking pretty good so next step would be to um, polish it finish it up So let's do it. I'm going to take some of the Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. Get a uh, soft cloth, if I can find it. There we go. Microfiber cloth. Start working on it.
All right, guys, there it is. Um, worked this real good with uh, Mother's polish, uh, mag and aluminum polish. Or, and then I uh, followed it up with some Renaissance. And that really brings out the shine. So yeah, here it is. Looking really good. Got the logo on there. Listen to all, but follow none. True. Very shiny. All right, all. Hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, give me a like and subscribe if you'd like. And I'll see you next time. Later.